Hello, everybody. Excited to be here. I got a haircut tonight. Pretty excited about that. Um, that's right. Hello, Brody. How we doing? Um, we're back with some Platinum. I'm very, very excited. If you were not with us last time, we were able to thwart, excuse me, Team Galactic's schemes at the Valley Windworks. We have a very kind of uh, makeshift team right now. Probably not a lot of members are going to make it to the end of our playthrough, but we got Onyx, the Onyx Turbine, the Buizel, Inclusion, the Starly, Gilbert, the Bidoof, Autumn, the Turtwig, who is very close to evolving, yes. Um, and Skitter, the Pachirisu, I'm excited about. I've never really used one. Um, and again, probably won't use it the entire playthrough, but I want to I wanna use this thing for a while. So that is great. Oh, hello, Mom. Thank you. I'm excited that you're excited. Um, so here, this is a honey tree. I've talked about this a little bit earlier. Um, you can find specific Pokemon by putting honey on these honey trees and then checking back after a specific amount of time has passed. Um, there is one particular Pokemon that's extremely rare to find via Honey Tree, and it's the only way you can find it in the Generation 4 games, and that is Munchlax, which is the new uh, pre-evolution of Snorlax that they made for Generation 4. Um, so anyway, that's just really cool. That's not something we're going to be doing, because again, as we know, I don't hate myself. At least not yet. Um, let's see. Oh, wow. Okay, you just beat your heart gold Nuzlocke. Should you do Kanto or Emerald first? Ooh. Hmm. Do a Kanto one. Do a Kanto one, why don't you? Um, all right, so we're going to get into these battles. I probably didn't mean to have Onyx first, but that's okay. He does have a ponytail. I feel like I remembered that. Um... So that's actually going to be pretty beneficial. We'll just hit, hit it with some hit it with some rock throws. Rock smash. Perfection. There you go, Onyx. Good work. All right. Um, let's get someone else in the lead here. I like having Skitter up there. Um, hoo -hoo, Red is going to be dead then. Good job, Brody. Um, all right, uh, here in this grass, I'm pretty sure there's not much new you can find once you defeat the Windworks. We can get uh, more Shellos if we want. I think you can catch Ponyta here as well, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but we have a Hiker. Um, I think this is the first Hiker of the game, if I'm not mistaken. Ah, uh, no, there might be one in the gym, the Rock Gym. But Hikers are always famous, and they, they always mark an interesting turning point in every Pokemon game um, where you can kind of get screwed if you don't have the special moves to deal with them. Um, so this is probably where Turtwig is going to get to evolve, which thrills me greatly. And this will destroy a Geodude. No doubt, no doubt, no doubt. Um, so how was everyone's day today? My day was pretty good. Um, excuse me. Uh, had work today. Kids weren't too bad. It was it was a pretty pretty solid day. Um, we're gonna switch train skitter again. Um, yeah, I feel like some of my kids were behaving surprisingly well. I was pretty happy overall. Um, but yeah, really happy tomorrow's Friday. It's gonna be wonderful. Um, we'll switch train one more time. Yes, this will get Skitter up to level 12. I'm really wanting... Do you know a water move yet? You do. I'll shift in Turbine. Um, uh, I'm really wanting Skitter to learn a an electric type attack. Um, oh, I'm glad you're doing good, Brody. Thank you. <laughs> I was just gabbing along about my day. There we go. Skitter, learn... Thundershock or something. Please? Ah, oh, not yet. Um. Oh, wow. Are you doing, like, a regular Nuzlocke, Brody? Or are you, um... 
Are you doing like a randomizer or something? Um, let's see. There are a lot of good trainers on this route. Let's fight this woman here. This route's kind of interesting because you can kind of go the low way or the high way. Um, ah, Roselia. As we've talked about, Roselia is now a middle evolution. Um, which is really interesting because we just completed a game in which Roselia was its own thing. And it gets an, ev it gets an evolution on both sides of it in Generation 4. Um, they really build this uh, character out a lot. Ah, uh, you don't know how to randomize it? Um, well, there are things online that you can get that it's called like the Universal Pokemon Randomizer. I just realized that Roselia is actually an, a horrific matchup for our team. <laughs> um, especially if it's going to keep using growth. Um, I'm glad that we have inclusion on the squad here. Yeah, because this will still really hurt with all those growths. Yeah, that's not good. <laughs> we might lose. <laughs> Uh, all right, I do have Autumn. I mean, Gilbert and Autumn might be okay. Let's have a look. Let me do a Rock Smash. Oh, okay. So we really might be screwed here, guys. Um, what can I do? Let's do this. Can I Screech you? Nope, that's just going to kill us immediately. Um... Yes, the physical special split did come in this gen. Um, Alright, Turbine. Alright, that's just a kill. Easy peasy. Alright, here's my plan. Let's try to go into Autumn. This is so funny, by the way. Um, so Autumn doesn't evolve at 16. Autumn must evolve at 18. I was confused for a moment. And now you're using more growths. Not good. I would like some critical hit luck, maybe. Okay, okay. We ate that Mega Drain a little bit. Oh my gosh, that's a brutal miss. Um, let's do this. <laughs> Guys, we're just gonna lose. This is insane. We're just gonna lose to this Lady's Rodelia. I can't believe it. Um, I messed around and I found out. That's so funny. Welp. <laughs> I never imagined wiping to that Roselia. Um, okay, but we're going to go get our revenge very quickly here. Because um, that basically just amounted to not paying attention. Um, if I do this and I just start with inclusion, and it can't build enough growths to just completely wipe me immediately. First off, I'm gonna save JIC. Um, all right. Okay. Now I can just pop some wing attacks immediately. And it's dead. Isn't that funny, how that goes? That was so easy. Two wing attacks, dead. It wiped us. It's all just a matter of uh, perspective and timing. I was about to say, yeah, that was that's a two leveler. Um, oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, this, this isn't a Nuzlocke. That's exactly why I don't like Nuzlocke's. Um, I mean, I get it, and I, I've, I've done them before, um, but sometimes a Nuzlocke, it just feels overly punishing to me, and it just doesn't feel fun. Um, and I'm remembering why I don't like Pachirisu, is that you don't really get an electric move for a while. Um, alright, let's see what your deal is. Yeah, so you can't continue on through this lower route. There are just a couple trainers that you can fight. Um, and there's also a... Whatchamacallit. Um, a couple berries there, which is nice. That was a nice critical hit. Alright, if Bidoof is bringing that defense up, 
all Skitter has is quick attack. Um, let's just... We'll do my own Gilbert. Because I have Rock Smash on this fella. Oh, wow. Even super effective, that's not doing a lot. I'm just trying to lower that defense a little bit. There we go. Oh, that is the great thing about Rock Smash. Perfection. All right, Pachirisu. Um, we'll mirror match it until it uses charm, and then we swap out because we're cowards. Wow. Let's see. You know what? We're sticking this out. This is amazing. <laughs> this reminds me of the uh, Metapod Harden off in the anime. There we go. Could we get to level 13 here? Oh, brutal. All right, let's see. Um... Ah, you lost all of your Pokemon, but you're Dratini because of Whitney. I mean, Whitney is awful. Um, Whitney is a notoriously hard fight. I... I don't remember how we did in our Crystal playthrough against Whitney. I feel like we actually did pretty well, if I recall correctly, and I was surprised by that fact. Um, alright, so we can't continue up that way, so we gotta fight some of the trainers over here. Um, we'll leave, uh... Skitter up front there. I keep on wanting to call Skitter Skitty. Um, but yeah, we're continuing our uh, trek through Platinum. Um, oh, Rock Smash Heracross? Yes. That is totally true. I forgot that we picked up Heracross. Um, let's see. Some of our levels are a bit low, which is interesting. I guess it's because we've kind of, like, swapped a lot of Pokemon in and out as we've gone. Um, but, yeah, I think I was I was mentioning it earlier. We were able to thwart Team Galactic's plot at the Valley Windworks. Um, and now we are making our way north to Eterna City. Um, and in Eterna City, we will find our second gym leader. Very exciting. Um, but we have one thing that I always love in these playthroughs is the Eterna Forest. Um, now Pokemon games are pretty infamous for having like a forest area. I just keep getting clenched. There we go. For having like a forest area early in their, early in the game. Okay, good. Um... And Eterna Forest, honestly, I think is one of the best. Come on. Give me something. Alright, Spark, I'll take it. Um, we will forget Growl, because it is just worse charm. There we go. Alright. Um, so that's great. We're probably going to want to put a little bit of... Um, let's try this. We're probably going to try to put a little bit of equity in our friend inclusion. Um, which is still so funny to me. Um, because we are going to need something for this next gym. Because it is a grass gym. And... As we learned against that Roselia, our team is not particularly good against grass-type Pokemon. <laughs> um, maybe I'll pick up something in Eterna Forest as well. Um, and there is, once we do get to Eterna Forest, um, there is a little surprise there, and... It's great because it's like a new mechanic, or just like a new thing, 
that they introduce in the Generation 4 games that I really, really like, and I kind of wish they would do more of. I feel like they haven't done it really since. Um, at least not to the extent that they did it in these games. Uh, Pursuit... Yeah, water sport's fine. There we go. Lovely. Um, let's see. Oh, how do you use Trico and Emerald? Um, you know, I I love Trico so very much. Ah, this is something that the emulator does sometimes. Um, if you just exit out of the screen, ooh, maybe not. Okay, there we go. Um, yeah, sometimes weird stuff like that happens. Um, but you can usually get out of it pretty quick. Here we have a battle girl. She'll have, I think, like a metatiter and a chop or something. Um, but yeah, they're... For some reason, I felt like her theme was going faster and I wasn't using speed up. It was very interesting. But this Machop is scary now to focus energy up. How about a critical hit here? It seems great. No? Oh, perfect. Just gonna decide not to attack me. I love that. There we go. All right. Yeah, and I'm gonna want to try to get Turtwig, Turtwig, Turtwig evolved as well. Um, let's see. This lady up here might have a grass type. We'll keep, we'll keep inclusion in the front. Yeah, because basically Bweasel and Onyx are going to be completely useless in our gym battle coming up. Um, sorry, one second. Alright, we fine. Oh, a Piplup! That's lovely. That is so rare to see. Um, like an early game trainer having a starter is something that you just don't see. That's crazy. Um, I completely forgot about this trainer. Ah, uh, yes, that non-stab peck is not terribly threatening. And one Razor Leaf will do the trick. Man, Autumn's Razor Leaf is wonderful. It's lethal, baby. Oh, boo, how insulting. Um, let's see. Ah, the first game since Gold, Silver, Crystal. You can get Umbreon Espeon. That is true. I think this person, yes, this person heals us, which is so great. Saves us trip. I cannot believe we wiped to that Roselia. That is just so funny to me. Um, so we could take a little shortcut up here, but we need to be able to cut stuff. Um... And what does this guy say? Ah, many poison type Pokemon make Eterna Force their home. Um, all right. Happy Thursday, Lock Test. Thanks for being here. I appreciate that. Um, so let's save because I have some anxiety. All right. So we're about to hop into Eterna Forest, and there are a few things that I want to point out. So let's do this. This music. I love the music, but also we have this person. This is Cheryl. She is uh, lost here in Eterna Forest. She's afraid of going alone. And she wants to travel with us. And what happens here is that everything in Eterna Forest will now be a double battle. And Cheryl is great because she is going to help us out with her Chansey. And every time we get into a battle, she is going to heal us afterwards, so it doesn't even matter what happens. And that is really, really great for getting some easy levels before the next gym. It's a really cool thing, and this kind of team-up scenario happens a couple of other times in the game, and it's really cool. I love this feature in Gen 4. Um, 
Um, so yeah, let's just do this while we're at it. Ah, uh, yes. And we get poisoned by that poison point, but it is okay. Ooh, that double team might be really helpful in our fight against um, the Eterna Gym Leader. Her chance is not terribly, terribly useful in battle, but that's okay. Let's see. Oh, yes, Friday for you, that's true. <laughs> um, so as you can see, if we check here, our friend Inclusion is completely healed. It is a wonderful little thing. And there are a lot of kind of like double battle setups like they had in Emerald with the trainers like facing in the same line. And again, this music. Gosh, this music I love. Um, so here's another thing. This is a grassy rock, a mossy rock. And there is a really cool feature. There is a new evolution in this game. And it evolves Eevee. Um, Eevee will evolve into this Pokemon, rather, when it is leveled up around this mossy rock. It's really cool, kind of, like, weird, <laughs> but I really like it. It's really cool. Um, let's see. Ah, yes, there's that first double battle up there. And we have double Badoo fun. Oops, I did not mean to do that. All right, they're both trying to set up on us like that, Roselia. Um, hey, I, hey, I didn't tell you. I didn't tell you what the evolution was. Um, there we go. Ah, yes. Okay, so this is great that our Starly's evolving. Like I said, we wanted to invest a little bit um, because we'll need it for the Grass Gym. Here's our Staravia, not one of my favorite bird Pokemon, um, but it's gonna really help us. Um, okay, let's get Skitter some levels. And we have a lot of double battles in here that we can do with our good friend Cheryl that we will try to take advantage of. Gosh, I love Eternal Forest. I think it's so lovely. Um, it's. I might go so far as to say that it's my favorite early game Pokemon Forest. Um, and there are some doozies. Uh, hmm, maybe Ilex Forest. Ilex Forest might be preferred for me. I don't know. I really, really love these early... Because these early forests are like a really delightful, like, little early dungeon, you know? Um, not too terribly threatening. Um, let's see. But one thing that can happen is if Cheryl's Chansey gets roughed up and killed, it can get kind of hard to defeat these double battles. And they're really attacking only the Chansey right now. Bapado. There you go, but it's got soft boiled, baby. We're so back. Um, let's see. Oh wow, Brody hitting us with a fun fact. If you put a Game Boy Advance game in the DS spot, because this was originally for the Nintendo DS, hence the dual screens, a wild Gengar can spawn outside the mansion, which we will see later. Excuse me. Beautifly, a perfect Pokemon for our Skitter to take care of. Um, gosh, I love Platinum. It's so lovely. But now I'm really trying to think of what my favorite early game forest is. It is either Eterna Forest or Ilex Forest. Ooh, Refresh. Oh, yes, Refresh can heal its uh, status abnormality as well. All right, of course you're gonna hit into the bide, Chansey, you silly, silly goose. Um, there you go, wonderful. And we've done it. Um, 
that is a really good fun fact, Brody. Yes, another level on Skitter. I think that's two. All right. Um, I'll stop that for now. Might be able to get Gilbert a level or two. And I don't remember. You might not be able to catch wild Pokemon here in Eterna Forest until you are no longer with Cheryl. I kind of have to check on that. Um, or I think you definitely need to have one of the Pokemon on the field fainted before you can um, catch one. I don't really want to test it here, though. Because I don't need to catch a Badoo. Um, you can? Oh, yeah. Do you have to knock out one of the Pokemon beforehand? There we go. There you go, Gilbert. Catch that level 11. And it's... Oh, it's so nice. Do not have to worry about what happens. Hmm. Gotta continue to appreciate this music. Because the Eterna Forest mu music is beautiful, uh, but it's still got kind of like that, uh, that little touch of mystery um, that makes it kind of just like a fun little labyrinth early dungeon, you know, like I like to say. All right, this is actually great for Gilbert because Abra's not really going to be... Ooh, that's not true. Okay, it has hidden power. Most early game Abras course it's super effective most early game abras don't really have any attacks to attack you with um but these do it seems oh and that knocks out gilbert must be fighting type because that is the only type that is super effective against normal um we'll just get autumn in here i'll avenge my fallen friend gilbert ah Oh my gosh. This Abra's a ninja. There we go. <laughs> that was insane, Miss Luck, actually. Um, so yes, I'm, we're probably definitely going to, probably definitely, going to want Turtwig to be evolved for our battle against the Grass Gym. Um, just to give us kind of a little bit of a tank. Oh, here's Baneary. Baneary is a very cute new normal type Pokemon for this generation. I really enjoy Baneary. I don't re really recall ever using one, to be honest, but... Um, excuse me. I might try to catch one. Oh my gosh, you're so right, Brody. And a lot of you friends watching will notice what Brody just pointed out is that the HP bar just goes down so, so, so very slowly. It's very annoying. Um, which why in a lot of these early battles I'll probably be speeding up like so. Alright, we're all going to try to double attack the Cascoon because I want to try to maybe catch this Buneary, but we'll see. Oh, nope. Chansey killed it. Chansey's a murderer. Oh, yeah, see, we got a full hardened Cascoon right here. One more. There we go. All right. A netball. That'll help us catch a bug type if we want. All right, I'll try to catch one of these. Um... Because if we kill one, we'll just catch the other. Wow, all they want to do is use Endure. Alright, we'll kill that one. There we go. 
And that one has a, yeah, a defense curl up, so we're not in danger of killing it. So yes, you have to knock out one of the wild double battle Pokemon to have a chance to catch the other one. Mm. And catch the Baneri, we did! Um, do we have a nickname for our friend Baneri? Oh, such a great cry, too. Uh, let's see. Oh, they can shatter a large boulder. How about that? What a... What a... An, uh, a Pokedex entry. Um... You know, you said the word cute. I'm going to call this little gal cutie. Bugs Bunny? All right. I'll erase that so fast. Oh, yeah, that'll fit. Boom! Oh, should have been... Should have called her Lola Bunny. But that's okay. Um, let's see. Let's get inclusion going. Looks like we have bug catchers anyway. Yeah, I want to make sure I definitely clear out all of the double battles in here. We might do just a little bit of training. Um, I like to do some while we're in here with, Sh with Cheryl so she can just always heal us. Um, ah, yes, and here is Burmy. We saw a Burmy earlier, but it looked different than this one. The one we saw was covered in green leaves. This one's covered in sand. So these Pokemon cover themselves in different cloaks. It kind of mimics real life, uh, real life bugs that do this, um, depending on their environment. And Burmy has three different forms. It has the leaf form, it has the, the sand form, and it has the trash form um, that are grass and bug, ground and bug, and steel and bug, which is very interesting. Um, really like Burmy as a Pokemon concept. I've never used one. I don't find them very good, but very cool. Um, let's see. I'm trying. I'm, I'm trying to make it happen, Brody. Burmy are also Pokemon that you can find via the honey trees. Do, 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 do. And here is that trash cloak one I was talking about. Um, ah, I guess it's not steel type yet. Interesting. Do, do, do. All right, I get the feeling. Oh no, I was about to say I get the feeling we're gonna have to kill one more Burmy of the last type that we haven't fought yet. All right. There is one more. Oh, two more. Interesting. We know Dust Tox from Ruby and Sapphire and Emerald. I guess just Emerald. We did not play Ruby or Sapphire, but it's the same diff. Perfect. Ah. Uh, just a casket. Easy peasy. Do, do, do. Yeah, we're gonna do our best to get our squad where it needs to be. Yeah, because again, I'm really uh, trying to make sure I'm investing in the correct members. Double Veneery once again. Yeah, because I don't want to train forever here in Eterna Forest with Cheryl. But, uh, gotta make use of it. At least a little bit. Lovely. My goodness gracious. Ugh, a double Badoo. That's not going to be good for Skitter. That's not even worth doing. <laughs> um, I got Chipotle tonight. That's not that important, but I just felt like mentioning it because it's so good. Um, 
it's one of my favorite things to get. Like I got my hair cut and then I got myself some Chipotle. It was just such a lovely time. Um, let's see. Oh, and that's for the that's for the Burmy forums, Brody. Nice. All right, so these Baneeris are using Endor. There we go. Perfect. Nice. All right, I think this is where I came from previously. Yes. Um, here, we're gonna, gonna let Autumn pick this one up. More psychics. It's interesting, I don't really know why there's psychics in here. I guess Eterna Forest is kind of a kind of a mystical place. We're, we're really just working our way through a lot of trainers here. Ah, Saida. Good thing we have Autumn in the front. Alright. I am just realizing there's something cool I can show you after we defeat the gym leader. I'm excited about it now. Alright. That's what Churchwig is most effective against. Yeah, I really don't like... I love the idea of doing double battles with the AI, um, but uh, a lot of times they really do not pick the most, uh, what's the word, optimal move. Um, we're gonna get rid of withdraw for curse. Curse could really come in handy. It just might be, Brody, if you like ruining surprises. I'm just kidding, it's fine. Most people know. Most people already know. All right. So one more level for Autumn and we'll be evolving. Lovely. Um, let's do this. Yeah, really, I guess my philosophy here is that I don't really go out of my way to train on the wild Pokemon too much, but I'm not really going to go out of my way to avoid the battles. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, all right, so we are kind of getting close to the end here. I'll work my way through some of these Baneeris. There we go. And also, Egg Bomb is so weirdly inaccurate. It's like, why? There we go. Ugh. Oh, a Ghastly! How fun! Let's see if we can catch it. Just for the giggles. One thing is that Chansey will actually not be able to hit this fellow. Um, let's do this. Alright, that's fine. Uh, let's see. Oh, try to draw a Turtwig? Oh, okay. I'll do my best. Um, let's see. Where's my pencil? It's right here. Okay, I have to draw this from memory. I have my little drawing sheet right here. Gosh, my shroom is just terrible. Um, so Turtwig has these like cute little, cute little anime eyes, and kind of like a cute little, like turtle 
face. Um, let's see. You've got your kind of sprigs there. memory. Hold on, that eye looks crazy. There we go. From memory, I'm pretty happy with this church wig. Right there. That's not bad right there. From memory, I'm alright with that. Alright, so what does it actually look like? <laughs> Um, let me see. Uh... Oh, wait, no. Okay, I'll look at it later. Um, alright, I gotta catch this here. Ghastly, if I want to. Alright, what's a ghastly name, if we can catch this fellow? Lovely! Born from gases, anyone would faint if engulfed by its gaseous body, which contains poison. Gas man! Love it. Um, let's see. Gas man. Love to see it. Yeah, really, there's just kind of like this one little thing that we're going to come around to, and then that's going to be the end of the dungeon. Um, okay, we are not level 17 yet with Skitter. I do want to get that. There we go. I think we can get it with these two. Oops. With these two Veneries. All right, it'll endure that. Oh, there we go. I'm going too fast. Really like to take too long. There we go. Perfect. Oh, endure ourselves. Um, do I want to learn that? Um, not really, if I'm being honest. Oh. <laughs> All right, Brody, give me a second. Um, <laughs> I mean, he looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. That's funny. Um, uh, we're going to give up on Endure. I don't really care about Endure for Skitter. Um, let's see. Is there anything else that I really want to do in here? I guess I could get Gilbert a level while we're thinking about it. Just why not, you know? There's a green shard. Love a green shard. Um, perfect. We can rock smash this lovely little lady there. Try to lower that defense again. Don't use Endure. Okay, good. Where is Gilbert at? All right, one more of the, excuse me. One more of those, get him to level 13. These seltzers always make me burpy. Um. <laughs> Come on, it wasn't that ugly. Let's see. All right, that'll do it for Gilbert. 
Might not have been much of a point to getting Gilbert to level 13, but hey, we can learn Rollout. Maybe that could be something. Um, we'll forget Growl, because that can combine with Defense Girl pretty nicely, actually. Um, all right. So here, let's put Inclusion to the front. Um, I'm going to pop a save right here, and then I'll lay some truth down on you. Save a lot of data. There we go. Okay, so here, this, uh, past these trees, these cut trees, there's a mansion. And it's the old chateau. And it is a haunted mansion. It's, uh, we were alluded to it earlier. Um, and there's something really cool that we can do there. We alluded to that earlier as well. But I'm really excited to show you, but you can't do it until you defeat the Eterna Gym Leader. But now that we are here at the end of Eternal Forest, our friend Cheryl is just like, oh, there's the exit. Thanks for, thanks for walking with me. This has been really nice of you to help me out. Um, so she gives us this Soothe Bell, which is really, really great. It's going to help us to evolve Pokemon via friendship, which may or may not be important for us later. Um, really, really nice of her. Love Cheryl. She waves goodbye, and we uh, have a new friend. It's just really, really lovely. I love that they do this in this game. Um, will we do the gym today? Probably not, Brody. We still have some kind of training that we need to get through. I know we can go all the way back here. Oh, no. Um, I thought there were berries right there. Item? No. Really thought there'd be an item right there. Boy, am I just mistaken today. Um, all right, this will be a great time to get Gilbert, not Gilbert, to get Autumn up to um, evolution, because we can just fight some of these fishermen. I think they just have a lot of Magikarps and Goldines and stuff of that nature. So that'll be real quick. We can get some Pachirisu levels as well. Boom. All right, and with that, I think that's gonna do it for Autumn the Turchwig. Lovely. Now we have Autumn the Grotel. You know, I always called it Grottle, but I mean, it's probably clearly Grotle, like how plants grow, you know? That's the pun there. Um, Alright, so Autumn is a Grotle now, which is lovely. So now we can uh, use these fishermen. Alright, this is a classic. You have one of these in every game. The classic, like, six Magikarp fishermen you just kind of have to grind through. Six sparks and we should be good to go. But yeah, Grota will be nice and useful against the gym. Um, yeah, because like, oh wow, it actually survived one. Um, some of our Pokemon we can probably swap out for new catches if we want to on the outskirts of town. Like, we'll check that place out. Um, just to be kind of some, like, utility Pokemon that we can use. Kind of like how Onyx was against the Rock Gym. Um, where it was just really useful immediately without really investing in it at all. Um, so we'll do that. Uh, it's fine. Perfectly fine. Do -ba -do -do -ba -do. Lovely. Um, we'll save that fisherman. I don't feel like fighting him. But I do feel like picking up these berries and probably an item. You know, it's funny. Because I am not likely to use any of these berries. But I cannot walk by berries without picking them up. And however many times I've played some of these games... Oh, a nice super potion. 
and there's like an item I know I don't need. I just can't help but pick it up. So here is Eterna City. This is the next city that we needed to go to. I uh, will pop into the Pokemon Center. Lovely. All right, so there's a few things we can do here. This is the bike shop. That's actually going to come into play later. Um, and if we go down here, we'll actually have the gym, but you can sneak behind it to get this item. Ha ha ha. Um, pro gamer over here. Um, and if we look here, this is actually Gardenia. She is the town's gym leader. Um, her last challenger was a speedy young guy. That's our friend, GCG. Um, all right, so she... Uh, is just here to tell us that if you want to challenge her, you have to beat all of her trainers first. And we'll have a fun little gym puzzle to do, but we'll do that later. Um, oh, you either forget berries or don't care. I mean, hey, I get that. This right here, this... Ooh! Well, this is our rival. Um, ah! So our rival is here to take us to a big piece of Pokemon history. And here is this weird blue-haired blue guy again. So this is Eterna's Pokemon statue, shaping our world, our time and space in an intertwining spiral. Revered in Sinnoh are the Pokemon of time and space. Sinnoh's myth, its truth needs investigation. And here he says, pardon me. At least he said, pardon me this time. Ah, yes. Oh, make sure all your attacks hit. Yeah, thanks, dude, for the lovely inspiration. So yeah, this is a, a very important Pokemon statue. Um, there's a descriptive plate, but it appears to be torn off. How mysterious. Um, <laughs> yes, he is more like a co-worker. Um, but yes, before he took us to the cool Pokemon statue in Eterna City, this is actually... Oh! Oh! Here is another interruption by a cool new friend with cool black clothes. But what's her name? Her name is Cynthia. She's a trainer just like us. Hmm. I wonder if she'll pop up later. Um, really love Cynthia. She's talking about the statue as well. Um, and she's probably going to help us on our journey. She actually gives us the HM for cut here, which we unfortunately cannot use until after we defeat the gym leader. But Cynthia is wonderful. We love Cynthia. Ah, she knows Professor Rowan. Of course she does. Um, yeah, Cynthia's great. Love her. But again, I've tried to say this twice. This is Team Galactic's Eterna Headquarters. We want your Pokemon. So Team Galactic is just kind of like way out in the open. They are not like doing any kind of mysterious dealings like Team Rocket. Team Rocket was like, hey, let's operate in secret underneath the game corner because we're just a bunch of criminals. Uh, but Team Galactic is just like, what's up, guys? Let's have some fun. Here's Bronzor. This is a new Generation 4 Pokemon that we love a lot. And I might catch one just for the giggles. I enjoy Bronzor. It's gonna eat that spark, but it does get paralyzed. Let's see what we can do. Let's uh, let's swap out here. Yeah, turbine's not going to be horribly useful at level 10, but we can weaken this bronze ore a little bit. All right, that is fine. Um, we can try our hand at a pokeball. There we go, perfect. <laughs> oh yes, I do love Chimeco. Um, uh, Chimeco actually gets a pre-evolution in this game called Chingling, it's so cute. Um, sure, I'll nickname this Bronzor. I'll nickname it BB. All right. I want to say that we can capture some Ponytas here. 
which is kind of what I'm... Oh! We picked up an item with our Pachirisu. I forgot that we had that ability! I think that's the first one. A Great Ball! Awesome! Alright, here is gonna be a battle. Let's, uh, let's pop here. Yes. We have some ninja boys hiding underground, just like they were in Generation 3. Um... Alright, and that's gonna be A-OK. -okay. Staravia is pretty powerful at this point in the game. Um, we'll get Skitter going. We're really a, th a three Pokemon squad at the moment, which I don't mind. Then another Zubat. We'll just Skitter that as well. Perfect. Lovely. Alright. So we got a few more Pokemon, or a few more trainers here. Let's let, let Onyx be here. I was just talking about how I wanted to not use Onyx in the gym battle, but hey. It'll be moderately good against the Geodude. And I accidentally let uh, Weasel faint there. There we go. Um, we're going to split this up, actually, with Gilbert. Because Grottle can just eat all that experience for himself, but... want to share the love a little bit when we can. Alright, so there's a trainer down here. We can pick up uh, an item down here as well, so I want to do that. Um, I believe this person is a bird keeper, so we'll let Pachirisu take the lead. Beautiful wings, I thought correctly. One shot city. We can probably one shot the second Pokemon as well. Even though it pains me because I love Hoot Hoot so much. Look at his little clock eyebrows. So cool. Her clock eyebrows, excuse me. Oh wow, thought that would kill it. We good. Hoot Hoot's just resilient. Resilient, wonderful Pokemon. Lovely. Alright, so we'll pop down here, pick up this item. Ah, oh, the TM for Taunt! Probably not gonna use that. <laughs> I'm glad I went out of the way. It's alright though. One thing I do want to point out here is this is Mount Coronet. There are many different entrances to Mount Coronet throughout um, the Sinnoh region. And it's actually going to be a very important place for us throughout our playthrough. And we cannot progress very far when we enter uh, this way through uh, via Eterna City. Um, but yeah, because that's a strength rock right there. But like I said, it'll be a very, very important place. Um, it is a sacred place to Sinnoh, actually. Really, it's biggest landmark. And uh, I'm excited to return here under different circumstances. Um, one thing I will try to do is I do kind of want to show you, um, because here in Mount Coronet, this is where you encounter um, Chimeko's first form, Chingling. Um, see, there's Metatite and Geodude Pokemon we're pretty familiar with at this point, but... Um, 
in our run through Pokemon history. Ooh, a Nose Pass! I guess I did realize that Nose Pass were in here. All right, I'll give it two more. We'll see Chinglings later. Um, so we don't need to waste a bunch of time looking for one. All right, last one. I just thought it'd be a fun aside. I didn't think it would be a big to-do. Oh, nope, just another brown zorb. All right, we all good. Let's continue. Let's get on with our lives. Um, okay, so... And are there ponytails here? Not right now. That's fine. Do, do, bop, bop. Do, ba, do, 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 ba, do. You know what? I will fight that fisherman. It kind of bothers me that I left one fisherman unfought. So let's just do it. Let's just do it already. Perfect boy. All right. So here, let me see. I'm going to get Staravia up in the front. Kind of the reason I stopped training Staravia was because I knew we would have um, some good opportunities to train it in the gym because we'll actually have grass Pokemon to fight against. Um, let's pop in here, though, because this is going to be good. Um... Onyx is going to be no good for our gym fight, so I'm going to grab BB, the Bronzor, because it does have Hypnosis. That could really come in handy for us. Um, and I'm also going to pick up Gasman the Ghastly, because while Bronzor and Ghastly are not going to be particularly helpful, um, they might be. And Turbine and Onyx are definitely not going to be. Um, so we'll just grab these Pokemon for the um, grass gym. We do actually need to heal real quick. Do, 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 do. Well, all right, folks. Um, I have really enjoyed our trek up to Eterna City, but it looks like I'm going to have to stop for tonight. Um, and we will actually get into the Eterna City gym um, when we return. Um, this was a really nice travel and training episode. We'll get into more story-heavy stuff next time. Um, but, uh... <laughs> okay, I got you, Bernie. But, uh, this has been absolutely delightful. I love playing Platinum. I love playing games for you all. It, uh, brings me great joy. So, as always, thank you once again. Um, if you're watching on YouTube, subscribe. Why don't you? That would be nice. Um, and I will see you all next time. Probably not Saturday. I have a lot of family things that I need to do Saturday, which will be lovely. Um, but I'm thinking about doing a stream Sunday, which I don't normally do. But uh, yeah, I'll give it a shot. Anyway, thank you so, so much. Have a great weekend. I'm very excited that tomorrow's Friday. And I will see you all next time. Peace out, kids.